YouTube family, what's going on? This is Dan. All right, in, in this video, we're going to be, you know, assessing our, you know, the, the frost cold damage that we had in the past two nights. You know, the, the first night we went on to I think 30 degrees, almost at 29 at one point, and it jumped back to 30. And it stood, that, you know, it was between 30 and 31 from about like 1, 1 a.m. right until about 7.30, 8 o'clock the next morning. So we had a full eight hours, uh, you know, just, you know, extremely cold temperature for, you know, zone 9B, you know, you know, it was a freeze warning. So I wanted to do this video just to... And I'll show you guys how the food forest is looking after uh, a, a freeze. Yeah. So the first first night was 30, 31, and sun, Sunday night, which today is Monday. You know, so last night it went to 35. You know, so it's been two really cold nights. You know, you know. So we have there's a few casualties in the food forest. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. You know, I'm not like devastated, you know, at all, because it's, it's, it's nature, you know, you can't control. There's certain things you could control in life, but there's certain things you, you can't, you know. And it's plants, they're going to regrow, they're going to, you know, look even better, you know, bounce back. You know, so there's always a, the plus side. And, and it, there's also a learning curve from this too. There is certain things you know you know i get better education on can nature just teach teaches you something about certain plants and the way you grow certain plants how they survive you know, ec extreme temperatures you know, and that's also in itself a, a big plus side you know when you're creating a food forest so let me take you along and and show you what's going on let's go all right, the, the first place we're going to start here. This is like the, the, the east side of my home. The, my home is here. There's a fence here. You know, this is where I grew all my turmeric, you know. You know, so I end up putting a lot of seedlings in this area. So let me just show you everything is actually looking on this side. So, you know, there was my, my young curry plants. I got a seedling of the miracle fruit and a few more miracle fruit seedlings there. So I, I tuck everything over here. There's some papaya here. This is, I think, naranjita. You know, this is a black sapote, full grown miracle fruit. This is my coffee plant. This is a uh, passion fruit. Yeah, and there's the, 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 the Asha going on ner herbs and stuff, tea plant. So I put everything over in this side, in this, I tuck everything right here, and I throw a sheet over here. And everything looks amazing. You know, just a sheet, just one sheet I throw over here, but I think that the, the fence and the wall help protect, you know, these plants here really good. Then I used this, my garbage bin, it was empty, the recycle bin, and I tuck. These are our tamarillo. You know, tamarillo started from seeds, so I could, I could take those out right now to put them down. Yeah. So those did good in, 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 <laughs> you know, you have to become innovative sometimes. So the empty garbage bin. So what I did, I put those in and then I actually, you know, like this, clo close the bin and left it like that for the two nights. And, you know, these are extremely sensitive plants too. Yeah, and it looks good. Yeah. No form of cold damage at all. After going on to 30 degrees. You know, these are, this is a tree tomato, tamarillo. Yeah. Yep. Then right in this corner, 
I had, you know, the, some other seedlings here. I just tucked everything here. These had no protection. These wasn't covered or nothing. These was just tucked back here and they still made it good. So I, I did use a, a old sheet right here and protect these. These came out good. These plants here, I didn't. So this is like a hog plum cut in, you know, pretty old right now. So got in a re real established in a root there. This is a canister. This is a lemon guava. I know the guava would have made it, you know. So it's still a, it's got a little brown in, but that's fine. There's some tomatoes here, and the two pinders made it because they were all tucked in right here, you know, unprotected. But the the peppers right here, these peppers, I had, I show you, I had the peppers tucked in right here, right here, you know, protection right behind here, and 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 they that came out good. Same thing with the, same thing with the the. This is a jackfruit seedling, you know, look good. But the surprise, my surprise plant out of everything are these soursop seedlings. These soursop seedlings were just tucked in a corner over there, you know. I didn't cover them at all, okay, it was like an experiment. I have about eight, eight of these plants. So I brought four in and left four out just to see if you know how would they you know <laughs> make it and they did the leaves are still looking good they're looking strong we'll be checking this you know back in and, and, and give you more update but i'm i'm surprised okay, these been outside right through the winter so they they experience temperatures in the 40s right through january yeah so i was like okay they didn't die with low 40s so let me try leave put them in a corner over there i'm telling you i think that they still got protected from the wall and the fence in this corner so that's a plus but i'm surprised that sour sap once it dropped below 50 degrees the leaves fall off these are seedlings i started so i'm extremely proud of these plants all right so this too was unprotected this is a rainforest plum it, it this is the way i left it you know it did get a little burn on the top but as i said this is this corner over here this east side corner of the house get protected by the fence and the the, the, the home actually helped this plant uh, uh, really good also this is one of my herb the the lipia alba over in this corner it was protected this is in ground because there's ones in the food forest that's in ground and they got burnt so i think every these this was protected by the wall all right all right let's let's look over up here look at the guava the guava guys dealt with a coal like a champ yep a little slight burn but it, it dealt with it really good, really good. And you remember these are guava I grew from seed. So that's, that's one of the lessons I learned too. These seed grown trees seems to be, did extremely good dealing with the coal. You know, maybe stronger cell walls because they grew from, from, from seed. Yep. All right, even right here, look at the, the moringa. This moringa right here, remember we went down to 30 degrees. There's no way I could cover this. So, and look at the, the leaves. But there's other moringa down into the food forest. I'll show you, it got really burnt. So it got protected right here. The bananas, bananas leaves got burnt up somewhat. But I think they, they, they're all gonna survive. Yeah, the Namwa banana is pretty hardy to, to certain, certain temperatures. So, 30 degrees for eight hours and these bananas got a little burn but there's not I don't even need to cut these back they're gonna come back because it's still looking extremely good this is this is a strawberry strawberry guava 
nothing didn't get phased from the coal at all looks extremely good that's another lesson I just learned this, the, you know this plant can hadn't handle the coal all right let's let's go look on something else let's go the Ethiopian kale did ex, you know did exactly what it's supposed to do as a brassica you know handle the coal extremely good and the bees are out this morning even some broccoli here broccoli did good yeah yep the sunflower still still hanging on surprisingly i i really think there was a slight little microclimate right here and let me I show you show you the, the bee look at the bee yeah all right let's go down here this is the Petanga tuba and this handled the coal well. Nothing. A, a bug right here, get rid of you right away. <laughs> yep, the leaves are looking extremely good on the Petanga tuba. Looks great. All right, let's go over here now. All right, everything right here was actually in my garage. This is the Monsteria. Yeah, so I, I, I make sure I put those in the garage. This lost it leaves some earlier in the year. Yeah, earlier in the, the winter it started. This is a Rolinia. Yep, those stayed when it stayed in the garage. This is a, yeah, so this is the Araza plum. I know, guava. So this. It, it, this was outside for you know in the 40s and stuff so you know but once I saw the freeze I was like okay this is a young plant I kept this in the garage the I have a red custard apple here you know kind of look beat up but that's okay you know, you know all these are known as you know gonna lose them leaves during the the cooler months you know so that's that this is my rosemary that's that's still looking good but these are the other sour sops that I brought. I brought these in the garage. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, I bought those six in the garage, you know, as my backup plan and left the four out here just to see. And they both look the same. Yep. Yep. So that's a big plus side. So I'm wondering now, you know, if I'm going to get some special kind of, you know, sour sop. All right, here is the brassicas yeah this if you see the leaves get a little burn right here but for the most part these are look this is a portuguese kale so that's looking good you know but but oh, let me also show you this is the florida broadleaf mustard the morning when i came out they looked it a little bit sad but over time they just you know came back and looking good without you know so this did well with the 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 the, the fruit the florida broadleaf mustard yep while well, it's over here okay more florida broadleaf mustard the purple mustard did good right now them have that droopy look because it's mid the midday sun and it's a little bit we we right now in the in the high 50s you know so and these are looking good still. The cabbages are looking good still. That's really good. All right, over here, the eggplant. <laughs> the eggplant got got its share. This is gone completely. This is this seems like it's just dead. The eggplant is gone. Yeah. So that's one of the casualties. The eggplant. You know. All right. Let's let's go walk. Walk over here. Alright, guys, look at this. This is a mango from seed in the ground. And it did get a little burn on the top, but for the most part, the tree's still looking extremely healthy. Started from seed. This is a plant that surprised me a lot. I don't know if there was like some microclimate, but I left this one right here. This is a East Indian mango in a container, and there's no burn on the leaf from the freezing temperatures. And I started this from seed, 
you know, I got, got ate the mango, saved the seed, planted. And look, look, look how good it's looking. Yep. Looking good. Then I, I'll show you something else over here. This was a mango seed, mango. Oh, this is a non dot mine, not from seed, it's grafty. Because this is a grafty, I bought it online. So I used this container to cover it. This was the protection for, for, for this plant. I have it in ground and I know it was young. So I, I covered it. Yep, the, there's some daikon radishes here. They did extremely good. Yeah, this anona, our, our sweet sop, the leaves all burn up. But anona can take some coal, so I'm hoping this will actually bounce. I started this from seed. Yeah, so let's see. It's just still nice green stuff, so it's probably going to just defoliate and grow back. So that's really good. Yeah, the, this is the, the Cuban oregano. That's toasted, <laughs> but you know, the, the, it have a, a strong root base and trunk, so it's gonna actually probably come back really good. Yeah, so this is like toasted, toasted. Yeah, <laughs> look at it. Yeah, the Mexican sunflower over here. Yeah, is is still good, but the leaves got toasted, toasted, toasted. The, this merengue, look at the difference. This merengue is here, and the other one back there, nearer to the wall. Yeah. No damage in the leaf. This one is roasted too. <laughs> roasted, roasted. The African basil. That's gone, gone, gone. Let's see. Let me see something. Uh, maybe, no. Oh, maybe I don't know what you know. Let's see if that bunks back. Yeah, yeah. The mulberry, you know, mulberry can deal with that stuff. It's gonna bounce back too. All right, let's let's go. There's more Cuban oregano got burnt really, really bad. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. The cassava, the cassava leaf burnt. <laughs> burnt 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 that's gonna bounce back too yeah okay still green nice green stuff there does the leaves said more cosmetic the leaves yep all right let's let's go over here there's a, a banana right here the leaves are toasted but i think the banana is still good yep so it's only cosmetic leaves damage i think yep so let's let's see we're gonna keep you know Updates and that and see how everything looks there. All right, let's 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 go over here. The Seminole pumpkin is roasted. <laughs> Look at it, guys. Uh, yeah, crunchy. Yep. This is Gumichama. You know, the Gumichama took it like a champ. Yeah. No. No. No issue at all. Let's go over here. More moringa, yeah. Yeah, yeah moringa can't handle the cold for nothing. <laughs> Look at these guys. Toasted, toasted moringa. Yep. All right. This is the dwarf cabin dash. I know they can't, you know, for some reason, I, I was expecting that to even make, you know, I was expecting it to look like this. So this is like toasted too. Toasted, toasted, toasted. Yep. Then this is the hog plum. I know this is fine. This is all cosmetic. Cause the bloom, even for the past two days, it started pushing out some blooms, even in the cold. So that, that's it's gonna probably just drop the leaves and, and bounce right back. Yep. Big trunk. These truck uh, trunk trees that have these big. You know, trunk light, this is gonna be okay. Yep. Yep. More Cuban and you know, toasted. But there's a lot of leaves here. I got toasted. Manga here from seed. I think this is a nam that my from seed. 
you know, a little burnt on the top leaves, that's it. Nothing else. Yep. All right, let's go over and look at some more stuff. All right, the, the cern and cherry took the coal like a champ. Look at it, good. No, no, nothing at all. Took it really good. So that's another one could deal with that coal. 30 degrees. Look at the anona, the sour sweet sap. Leaves all brown, but this is gonna bounce back. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, that's all cosmetic. The this is the the dwarf a star fruit. You know what variety this is again? Dwarf Hawaiian. Yeah, this got a little beat up. Yeah, they came and is a coal leader. Yep. I show you right here. Look at the the cassava. <laughs> Cause this moringa burnt. Yep. And I'm not even I'm nowhere, no form of disappointment at all. You know, seeing but it's just nature, you can't control that. So and I know a lot of stuff seems to me right now it's cosmetic. Not must not like you know the plants are gonna die to the ground and never come. All right, th this avocado. This avocado was close to the house, and I actually removed it because it was getting so big. Maybe about two months ago, I put it in the ground and move it. And and look, the leaves didn't even get damp. Look, nothing at all. So the avocado did extremely good. Yep. The kale, all the kale that grew, you know, the one I broadcast the seeds, they're looking extremely good. Yep. Let's go through here. All the, the, the Everglades tomato, they're toasted. Toasted, toasted, toasted. This is a, what's the name from seed? Loquat from seed nothing not even a flinch look at the leaves so beautiful as ever yeah yeah daikon rises here in the ground looks extremely good still uh, this is the the june plum it's got burnt cut of leaf but i think that's it's gonna be fine yep the the, the trunk and everything looks looks good still Go over here Dragon fruit here, they probably got protected from the fence and the other trees right here, you know, but all of this moringa, toasted, toasted, toasted. Yep. Surprised the dragon fruit did well over in this corner. Yep. Looks good. Give that fruit days and see if it's real. The papaya right here did good. I maybe the water right here protected a little bit or something. You know, the papaya here. I've just few little damaged leaves, you know, even that one there. But if you look, let me show you another one. Oh, let's go over here. The katuk, I forget what to show you, the katuk. The katuk got toasted. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go over here. The papaya right here, it's still good. If you look at the middle part, that's good. So the, the, those old, outer leaves got burnt, so. That's that's yeah, nothing to worry about. All right, let's walk over here. All right, this is a mango from seed. Yeah, so it's like it. Yeah, just the top leaves burnt, but everything else is fine. The lower leaves are still green, so the the top part of the leaf cosmetic. That's it. Yeah, but look, look here, guys. Look at the comfrey. I mean, it's low to the ground, but look. It, it did extremely well while the the kind of eat your bed kill toast got toasted toasted can't tolerate the outdoor coal <laughs> look this all that black stuff yeah yep toasted all right let's walk around and show some more stuff all right these are the the, the herbs yeah lippy alba herb it's right in the open. He's got toast. Yep. Go over here. Oh, let me show you guys something real quick. 
the Barbie this cherry guys nothing I'm so surprised about this this is right in the dead middle yeah and it and look at it leaves look really good so the Barbie this cherry did good with that low low temperatures impressive I'm impressed with you yep all right let's let's walk around here this is a egg fruit a can of style bruce the variety is and the top leaves you know remember i didn't protect none of these stuff so the top leaves got burnt but the lower leaves seem to be okay which is good which is good yep yeah can of style bruce so the lower leaves you know got got you know a little bit a little bit damaged but it is the top leaf so that's good cosmetic too this tree could this tree couldn't handle it at all this is the the all right this is the motinga all the leaf the leaf got toasted too <laughs> yeah look yeah but it's a big tree so i know this is gonna come back fine a big these trees that's you know got these big trunks there's no way I could protect this. Look how big this tree is. Got to protect itself, you know. Yeah. So, but as I said, this is only all cosmetic. Tree's still perfectly fine. You know, the mulberry. The mulberry is good. Ain't nothing going to affect that. Yep. All right. Over here is... Let's walk over here. This is a banana here. Got to... All the bananas. This... I think this banana got toasted completely got to just cut that down it's gonna sprout new banana you know pops or something around it yep all right this is a key key k apple ikea apple yeah so i use this container was to cover the key, because a young young plant and it got you know a couple months ago so i use that and that's how it got protected yeah, so if you see right here, no, no damage at all. Yep, and then I water it before, you know, that, that coal snap came in. All right, another, let's go over here. Another Anona, yeah, leaf them got roasted again. <laughs> yeah, so that's gonna bounce back. The mango with all the blooms. This is a carry variety, so carry bloom more than once for the the year yeah so it's probably gonna bloom again there's not i think this got burnt burnt I, I didn't cover nothing like you know everything just i just left it in nature do what it got to do yeah strengthen up the trees yep yeah maybe they do better in another cold snap or something i don't know that's me trying to see or you know yep all right let's walk around and look at some more stuff all right let me show you something that's over here too Look at the Sacanistel. Really get a little burn, but that's just a seedling. You know? So you know the cell walls of this seedling is probably a lot stronger than the grafted tree. Yep, so that's looking good. Yep, the pineapple guava, not even phase with that. The 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 chaya leaves you know leaf damage, no trunk, just a lot of cosmetic yeah because leaf damage yep and over here i had another yeah this is a, a malika oh yeah this is a malika mango young tree small so i put it in the ground as soon as i got it but i did cover that also with with this yeah yep and that that's looking good yep a lot of herbs here got burnt up Yep, let's walk through here. This is a Australian berry, and that seems to get it got got a little burnt up. But the lower leaves are good, so the top part of the leaves, uh, you know, so that should bounce back pretty good. Everglades tomato got roasted. Yeah, the tomatoes I had in the containers here over here left them unprotected yeah i knew this was gonna happen yeah so those are going as to the guava grew from seed look at it guys 
go off as like some tough trees. So this is another lesson I just learned to, you know, grow guavas too, you know. You know, more guavas, less issues in the garden. Yeah, you know, man, these are growing from seed. The 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 star fruit here had fruit in it and everything, but got burnt up. This is a curry variety, a star fruit. Yeah, these are uh, this was expected, yeah. Over here, the Everglades tomato just got burnt, 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 burnt. Uh, papaya here got roasted. This is impressive over here. This is a sapadilla, you know, grown from seed. And look at it, nothing, not even a brown and none of the leaves. Like, this did extremely good and beside it is a uh, anona uh, sweet sap you know and that even took less damage on the other ones the leaves are completely brown this have a little green still maybe this tree was actually look look at it so i tell you planting trees close together actually is a plus too look at it less damage because plant is so close to this tree so when you hear people say don't plant trees close see, look there's a plus right here it protected that even more. Look at the, the look at the neglected, you know, broadcast seeds. Let me just show you guys. Ignored seeds. Look how, look everything is like looking so good. These are lined on the side from wind. We had heavy winds too. Yeah, but these are looking good, good, good. Can't believe this. I everybody think you need MPK, you need this amount of nitrogen to grow your plants. Crap, yeah. Look at these guys grow. Yep, getting all the nutrients, the fungi, the bacteria. You know, one-to-one -one ratio fungi and bacteria. Healthy plants, completely. Plant can be able to access everything in the soil. Yep. All right, that's another video coming soon. <laughs> all right, over here. Look at the avocado. Another avocado from seed took it like a champ. Avocado from seed. I'm so proud of these plants. Yeah? You know, like a proud papa. Your kids just win an award. Proud of the avocado. He did great, great. This is the, the Nam Dat Mai from seed. Yeah? And these are all young leaves because I pruned it back recently. So I expect the leaves just to get burnt up but it's good it's going to bounce right back if you look yeah yeah all a lot of young leaves there so that's that that's expected let's go over here this is the hog plum which i probably i think this got this got some damage over here yeah got some damage so i'll prune this up but you know it's probably gonna bounce right back to you're gonna see all of the progress i remember you know what, there's a coconut right here. Coconut did good. Look guys, this leaf is burned, but look, this is a coconut. Took 30 degrees and it's still looking good. Amazing. I just wanna show you guys, you know, that we experienced that, that you know, real cold snap, you know, 29, 30 degrees is not normal for this area, so. This is the first time, we, you know, I'm seeing that here. The banana here, I think this got toasted. So, yeah, if you look at, if you look at the trunk here, it looks like, yeah, I think this is dead. But let's see, I'm going to watch it and see. There's more, what's the name over here? Hot plum. Yeah, but I think there was a little microclimate in this area. Okay, this banana here is doing good in this corner. Look, did great. Yep, yep, did great over here. Really good. Now the guava right here did extremely good. The guava is a big time champ. They win the gold medal. This is pigeon peas. Yeah, they, they couldn't handle the coal. Yep, yep. Yeah, they couldn't handle the coal. Yeah, but most of these peas are ready to harvest anyway, so not, I'm not losing nothing. I'm gonna have a bunch of peas to come and harvest. Yep. The Everglades tomato here 
That's a goner, goner. All right, let's go over here. This is all the leafy greens that I spread out over here. Looking good. There's a banana there. Got toasted right here. There's a lemon from seed. Looking extremely good. Extremely, extremely good. Yep. They're from seed. That was growing from seed. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was it. Just wanted to show you, you know, the, the after effect, you know, yeah, the, after the cold snap, yeah. So, as I said before in the beginning of the video, there's lesson to be learned, you know, about certain plants that could, you know, certain areas of the garden that was able to take the cold more than some, you know. So, you know, but I know within you know, two months, you're gonna see a beautiful garden again with everything looking green and lush. That's so na nature always bounces back. Yeah, all right, so thank you so much for watching. I'll be blessed with peace, love, happiness, and kindness. Kindness, one love. All right, guys, one love. Love always wins. All right, see you in the next video.